It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? That, ladies and gentlemen, in the distance is the steps of faith and leading at, leading up to the Holy Sea of Ishgard. And it is actually the destination that we can't access yet. At least, not yet, anyway. But anyway, hey guys, Kruznigex here. Um, we are currently trying to... Uh, get our way up to uh, certain levels that are unattainable. And uh, I figured we'd uh, dedicate this uh, to doing the... This uh, particular one to uh, doing the dungeons that we just uh, obtained, which are Halatali, the Sunken Temple of Karn, and Cutter's Cry. This is going to be tough uh, for the most part because these are the first time I'm doing these as Paladin, and also the first time I'm really uh, going through them. So. The first one we're gonna do is Halatali, um, and it was a, and so the lore goes. Originally a holy place for the first Lalafell arrived in Eorzea, a twisting labyrinth of natural caverns which wind through this missive, massive mesa, was transformed by the Gladiators Guild into a series of training pits, animal pens, and holding cells to accommodate the ever-growing popularity of Old Da's Coliseum. After the Calamity, however, the location was abandoned. Those remaining in the pens left for dead. Not all of them, however, met that fate, and now the tunnels are rife with those who survived, as well as the tormented spirits of those who did not. So, we're going to do this. Whoops. We'll be doing this dungeon first. Really wish it would take a little less time for... Oh, there it is. Burning Man! Alright, let's do this! We're probably going to get, like, risks for this one. I'll be surprised if there's another n new uh, character in here besides me. Let's do this. Really? Well, ain't that rude. <laughs> hey, 
And of course, somebody has to call me. Uh. Hello? Hello? I'm in the middle of something. What's up? Yeah. No. Yeah. At seven thirty. All right. Yep. Bye. I just. Why is that I always have to be responsible for somebody else? Ugh. This fight is pretty basic. Um, these gas bombs you gotta be careful of. You don't want them to... Uh, frickin' cat self-destruct. Though I'm kinda doubt... I don't remember if they can uh, self-destruct or not. Oh, well, we're close to the start anyway, so... What sucks is you gotta try to catch up as best you can.
I better, uh... Slash P. I really need to get a keyboard for this thing. I used to have one, but... I just want to make All right, let's do this. Now this Now this uh, particular boss the first boss, Fire Main, is easily burnable. What is it with people been calling me today? Hello? Yeah. I'm at home, why? I'm in the middle of something. I can't pause and I can't pause it. on uh, contact but Jesus, everybody seems to want me when I'm in the middle of something, but nobody wants to freaking make it hurt when I need something. Might as well, I'll, uh, oh, yeah, that's right, I gotta connect to the right router.
Now, it's pretty random what comes out of the chain winches. It could be a lightning, three lightning sprites. It could be a bomb. Um, it could even be uh, a nice little uh, treasure chest. But it's all totally randomized. Oh, what? Is there... Oh, I totally forgot about that gas bomb. All right, chain winch number three has three lightning sprites. Now, if we follow this path downward over here, you'll notice there's a treasure coffer over here. You want to check this treasure coffer from time to time because occasionally it might have some ethereal gear.
All right, chain winch number four. Gas bomb. Now notice I used shield bash before frickin' anything else. Because if you can stun it, you can still get the experience for it. Alright, before getting this fifth and final uh, chain winch, you want to get rid of the the uh, scythe mantis. You want to get rid of the scythe mantis and the two scythe mantis mm, mantises and the Colosseum python. Ah, well, that was bound to happen. If you get it, if you get to it too late, you freaking, uh, well, you die. Bottom line, plain and simple. Alright, I don't think there's anything else up there, so. Here comes the second boss in the hall. We are now in the hall of the Secutors. And, uh,. This thundercrab, uh, Guiver is, um, another simple boss, um, oh, we're missing someone who is all the way. There they are. All right. This is this uh this one thing. So you want to stay out of the water for this one because it during this time it will electrocute you. You also want to get rid of these lightning sprites pretty quickly. As a tank you're really not going to really focus on them too much because they're really weak.
He's going to do this two times during the concourse of the fight. So you want to make sure you're not in the water when he frickin' decides to electrocute the floor. Essentially, everyone pulls their weight during the lightning sprites. So this is like really tough on the healer. This boss is another one of those that's easily burnable. And there we go. All right, the last part of this is uh, pretty fairly easy. You want to be careful of this gas bomb, though, that pops up out of nowhere. You want to keep a close eye on this gas bomb, though, because he could just self-destruct in any second and then you're screwed. The best way to shield yourself is to pull enemies away from view. That way... Yeah, you can easily get those two Rudus beaks by just using your range attack. Now you gotta be careful of this particular treasure coffer cause that pit paste shows up out of nowhere. Try saying that 15 million times fast. This one almost always drops ethereal loot. Now we're going to go through the Lutus door.
and on t and we get the mapping the realm Halatali trophy well we don't really get it but and now we face the final boss Tangata <laughs> Hello ugly All right All right, the first part of this battle is fairly easy He starts off by frickin' Once he gets down to about 90% health, he'll frickin' Protect himself with a ring of fire And basically He- All you're really doing is preventing these Demontis from reaching him It's the same thing as with fire main, except a lot more annoying In the meantime, you also want to kill the fire sprites that frickin' spawn because they, um, they control his, um, his firepower. Alright, so, he does this twice and then... You want to keep the Dementis away from Tangata at all times, because if any, because like with the uh, Fire Main, if any of them reach the center, the uh, center that the t the Dementis are trying to reach, then they're going to explode and do an area of an effect attack. With Fire Main, the center was the the bonfire in the middle of the room, but with this particular boss, the Tang Tangata is the center, so you want to keep so you want to keep it away. And there you have it. There's Halatali in a nutshell. So that's a, the so that's the first of three uh, dungeons that we'll be completing with this particular run through oh whoops uh, so we got a a doctor's bill all right so we're done with that next uh Next video we do, we'll do uh, Sunken Temple of Karn. Kruznik, out.